Thank you for tuning in to my guide on how to make gold with the Legion Mission Table, which originally aired live on Twitch. This video has been edited for time. For the full video on demand, or to catch a live show, visit me on Twitch. So, to make gold off of our mission table, first thing we need to do is we need to get some resources. So, uh, for the Legion mission table, unlike the Shadowlands or the Draenor mission tables, the you cannot earn the resources just from the table itself. So, we've got to head out into the world and farm some up. So, we're going to look at specifically the ones, the bonus uh, dailies down here at the bottom. So, we've got Kirin Tor. we got kind of a bad setup here today. Kirin Tor, Army of Light, and Argosian Reach. So... Let's just check real quick which of these was the easiest to get done. Um, and we're looking for, ideally, the daily, the world quests that give us order resources and or gold is our best bets. And if we can find them that are profession-based, those are usually the quickest to do. Uh, like this Felwort, for example, is a great one. But it doesn't really help us... Oops. It doesn't really help us with our... Uh, our, our our chest thing that we want to get here, the Kirin Tor chest, etc. So the Army of Light is anything on Argus. Argusian Reach is anything on Argus as well. So if we go to Argus, we can knock out two of these at the same time. But what we'd really like to do is get the Kirin Tor ones also. Now, super ideally, you'd have Kirin Tor and the Wardens, and then, like, one of the zones, like Valsharar or Azuna, and then you could do all three at the same time. That would be ideal, but th unfortunately that is not the case today. So let's look at what we can do here on Argus. So this would be a good one to do. It is a kill quest, and it gives us gold. Now, the kill quests, I think, are the fastest and easiest, so that is probably one we're going to want to check out. Uh, we also have a dungeon. We're not going to do that. Here's another kill quest right next to the other one. So that's probably where we should head first. Uh, here's another kill quest for order resources, which is good, but it's kind of far off the beaten path. Here's another kill quest for gold. So we'll probably do that one, these two, and then we need one more. Um, what do we got over here in Krokon? We got a kill quest there, kill quest there. So this kill quest is probably our best bet there. All right. So we're going to get started with that one. So I'm going to go ahead and head over. How do I get to Argus again? <laughs> it's been a while since I've done Legion stuff. Specifically the Argus stuff. Ah, here we go. This is how we do it. Another little hint for the gold making uh, while you're doing these Day, uh, world quest is if you equip your little bodyguard with uh, certain trinkets, you get extra gold from completing them. So, for example, I'm getting 15 extra gold and uh, uh, I can't remember if I'm getting anything else extra from that. I think these resources might be extra as well. I think I'm getting 15 extra gold and this extra resources because of the stuff I have equipped on my little friend here. Archmage Modera. Any plans for season uh, for 9.2? Um, not really yet. I haven't really been paying that much attention to 9.2. Um, apparently there's going to be some new resources. I'll probably, I'll probably look for the most efficient way to farm those up and sell them. Um, that's probably the best way that we're going to be making gold off of those. Um, probably craft, um, gathering in Shadowlands will probably make a little bit of a comeback because people will be crafting the new stuff. So I'll probably be looking at doing some gathering in Shadowlands. I really haven't been doing much of that lately because it's not very lucrative at the moment. But, uh, I mostly play on my, um, new gold challenge characters. So I don't really do any legendary crafting on those because I, I just started on that server not long ago. 
Okay, uh, stop spamming me, um, dead dude. Uh, but anyways, uh, I mostly play on my, uh, uh, new gold challenge characters, so I don't have all the legendary items ready for crafting and stuff like that. So, that's a big market that I'm missing out on there, so I don't really worry about that too much. And now that those are turned in, we will head over to our mission table. So I'm going to go ahead and teleport to the Guardian, since I am a mage. Alright, so we are at the mission table now, so let's take a look at our options here. So what we want to do now that we've got our resources with these missions is we want to go for the missions that give us reputation items. So we've got, um, got one for Valjar and one for Nightfallen. Uh, only two this time. Not a, not a great roll for us. We can also make use of the Blood of Sargeras to make gold, so you can also pick those up. And these Defiled Augment runes actually sell as well. Not as well as they used to, since we've got the new ones from the Shadowlands mission table, but if you've got nothing else going on, you can go ahead and do those missions as well. I'm going to go ahead and send my dudes out on these reputation ones. Um, I'm up to the task. And you... And you can go too. So there's a couple of school of thoughts here with these missions as well. If you go for the bonus roll, you can get extra stuff, but you could also uh, make the argument that using less characters is better because then you can do more missions. It kind of depends on what uh, what you've got for options here. Since I don't have that great of options, I, I should ideally go for the bonus, but these aren't especially good. I will do my best. Oh, here we go. That, so that, now we got an 88% chance to get the bonus, so that's good. And I'm going to go ahead and send out the Blood of Sargeras one for a 55% bonus chance. So then we'll get some of those to, to be able to use those for some gold selling. All right, and now that we've got our reputation coming in from our mission table, now what we need to do is we need to go back to our world map. And we need to find these supplies that we can go turn in. So what we're doing here is we are in our reputation tab. And we are on Legion. And any reputation that we are already exalted with, we can work towards earning a bonus chest here. And looks like we've got a couple of lined up already here. We've got the Wardens and Armies of Legion Fall. So let's go ahead and head over and grab these chests and take a look at what we've got inside. So, um... The rest of these, some of them we're pretty close to, like the Argusian Reach, we're pretty close to since we just did the, the world quest there. Same with the Army of Light. Alright, let's go take a look at what we get from these chests. We are at the guy here that's going to give us our chest, so let's go ahead and complete the quest and take a look at what he's got for us. So we got a nice chunk of gold there, some more order resources, and a couple of little uh, things here. This is a champion equipment, like I was talking about earlier. This one is not that helpful for the gold making. So this isn't a ton of gold, but it's very low effort. Especially if you just do it like once a week. If you get it really lined up where you can do all three of your emissaries at the same time. And just stockpile your resources. And just uh, then you can just send your uh, companions out all, at all times. And you'll just rack up the reputation and keep getting more and more chests. So it's kind of uh, low reward, low effort. But uh, it's definitely a way to make a little extra gold. Now, I would not recommend that you go through the trouble to level up or a character or go through the Legion content just to do this gold method. It's not going to be an efficient use of your time. But if you played during Legion and you've got these characters all set and you've got all your mission tables ready, then I would go ahead and might, might as well make use of it. So here we are at the uh, Warden's Emissary. We'll go ahead and turn their supply quest in and see what they've got for us in their chest. So we got another 200 or so gold, some more resources, and uh, some other stuff. Oh, we got a toy. Oh, cool. I actually didn't have this one. Let's see. Let's take a look at what it is. Take on the guise of a Warden. Ah, cool. Nice.
actually. Yeah, you get fun stuff like this as well. So I'm pretty pretty happy about that. And uh, we got some stuff to sell here. Let's go ahead and vendor that. See how much gold we get. Uh, actually, I will keep the account bound stuff. Oh, but it's not druid. Not druid, not worth it. <laughs> I'm going to sell these, though. Uh, I guess I'll throw these in the bank for something. Or maybe I can find a use for them later. But uh, there we go. That is how we make gold off of the Legion mission table. Kind of a quick little method. Uh, low effort, low reward, but definitely something to do if you've got the characters set up for it.